Well, hello everybody and welcome to Stranded Alien and Dawn. We are going to be playing on the insane difficulty and the brand new jungle region, Salt 2. On the Jason Moon, we're doing the trading outpost scenario and I'm using the seed of my name, Tacticat. I'm using two game rules. One is big family. I can have up to 10 people. Granted, I have to pay for them. And I'm using random survivors. Now this one is important for two reasons. One, it just adds a little bit of a fun in the game because you don't know who you're going to get. And two, it gives them all guns, which is crazy vital when you have three people starting off on insane difficulty all right and away we go we are landing oh this is a this is an interesting spawn now i learned a lot if you've watched any of my videos i learned a lot of things that i did wrong in my last playthrough on the jungle i feel confident i can get through insane no problem so one thing that i that i did was i thought way too big i was so focused on building these big structures that i wasn't preparing for the early to mid game event of heat waves. Now, these heat waves get to 125 degrees, so we need to get air conditioning as soon as possible. However, that's not the first priority. The first priority right now is getting bandages and antibiotics. Now, there's several ways that we can get bandages. You can get it from this purple leaf stuff, like here. You can research it, and you can turn this into cloth, which can be turned into bandages. One of the easiest ways, though, from the very beginning to get it is to get the twisted plant which gives you the bark which makes veggie leather and that veggie leather can be processed down into making bandages now antibiotics there's two ways there's actually the cure plant the special plant which allows you um right here here we have it the cure plants right here so we can actually grow these cure plants into what we need we have ooh, worm like plant or you can use grain grass or this tall plant that i think is like a corn this plant right here is tall leafy plant this is able to be turned into a grain there is a better one which is a grain grass and i will have to find that All right i'm unable to find the grain grass anywhere but that's fine we have we found what we need we're also going to want some food so let's just start so we're essentially just going to want to research as best as we can make sure that we are hyper focused on researching this and getting workstations and just getting all the basic stuff up all right so we got a really good setup here we got yoko and she's great because she gets happy when she kills things and she's an enormously good crafter one of the best crafters in the game in fact she can get other people's crafting skills up she occasionally improves crafting skills of others so she's awesome krista is another great one she is genius which means that she is the researcher. You don't want anyone else doing research. Or she has a chance to get like boost and breakthroughs like all the time. She's clumsy though. So she's not good at crafting and she has a slight movement decrease. And then we have Edmund. He's an inspiration. So he, <sighs> Edmund's kind of lame, but he's what we got. He's a 45 year old man, 154 pounds. He likes to write short stories to inspire others. And he can sleep twice as fast. But he gets hungry a little bit quicker. Not entirely a bad thing. Let's look at his base stats. So what's great about him is he doesn't need a lot of sleep. He can heal. He has an okay intellect, physical. Got some combat. He kind of just sucks. So he's just like whatever, right? He's just a whatever kind of guy. Chris is cool because she's intellect farming, blah, 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 blah. But we're going to keep her at farming. Nobody here has a really high construction. So most likely Edmund with zero construction is going to be our guy. In the last video, I found that constructing tables was a really good way to get your um, your skills up to level two really quick so that you could build the more advanced stuff. So I am going to let everybody do their thing and we are going to get the show on the road. So everyone is going to do what I tell them to do. And we're going to, as soon as we can, get some wood, get some basic storage down. I think we can get some storage down over here because this is going to be an unusable area. Thinking again, I'm going to make my base very small and expand it over time. There's a lot of really cool terrain around here, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is cotton. That'd be amazing. And look, we got the cure plant right there. So antibiotics can be planted. Antibiotics can be harvested. Um, we may not have to even go with the whole grain thing we have wild wild plants i mean eventually we're going to want our own source but that's really good um this is actually a pretty awesome start i'm gonna put this up oh shit we got a thunderstorm right off the bat i hope nobody gets hit by lightning i do not need people getting neurological damage at the start of the game all right so we need to, like I said, we need to quickly identify a new food source. We need to quickly start identifying 
the tools necessary to get antibiotics and bandages. And Yoko is... Okay. Yoko must not be set to cut. So let's get everybody kind of set to everything. Just in the beginning. Um, Krista is... Edmund for sure is going to be the constructor. Everyone should be healing. Um, I don't need Yoko doing any kind of intellect. But she should be cutting down trees. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. There we go. Alright. And I want Krista to continue to observe the squash because we need a food source. We have just enough food for a couple days. Alright, so we got already off the bat, we got our first farms ready to go up. And we will start getting those up ASAP. Okay, and now we need to get the first sh uh, shelters up. But we need hay, we need sticks. Um, hay and sticks, very easy to get, by the way. Um, just need to find the magical hay fairy. No, it's a, it's a grass. There's plenty of it yeah, right here. We can get some hay right there. Definitely observe it. And then once we observe this, we have food right there. So we have plenty of food to take from the beginning. Edmund, I do kind of want to get some, you know, basic food going, though. This should be enough uh, enough of everything that we need just to get the basic stuff down. I guess we'll be sleeping outside just for one night. I'm going to have Edmund come over and instruct it. I also do want to get a table down. As that gives a huge happiness bonus, and every happiness bonus we can get is going to help. Yeah. Alright, cool. So we just got the basics going. We got a big tree over here. Tropical tree. And observe that. We want to start scavenging as soon as possible. This was a mistake I made too, is not scavenging early on in the game. And we're lucky. Look how close our scavenging is. We don't have to cross into any kind of territory or any kind of like bad place. Um, so that's great. We can also... I think we have... We don't have any money. We have 7,500. We don't have enough money to hire anybody. Um, okay, that's fine. We need to get a bunch of antibiotics so we can get some money. We need about 50,000. I am going to tell them to build one of these drying racks because these are great for hunting and killing. Cool, we got some uh, basic stuff right there. Trees. We don't need to plant any trees right now, but it is great that we have that. Um, okay, we got the skin bark. So we're going to start harvesting skin bark. And we're going to get a workbench up. Now we can start making bandages. Let's get a chopping block up to make uh, sticks. Right. And this is going to be tough because no one here is really a farmer. So if we get lucky, we'll be able to recruit a farmer. On edible, skin bark. Okay, yeah. Eventually we'll start growing our own skin bark. Alright, I do... I do want to get the cure plant observed. So I'm going to go have her observe the cure plant. If we can just get a couple antibiotics from that right off the bat, um, and we're going to be in business. Uh, there's no there's no way out about it. Um, so, Yoko, craft that veggie leather. Let's start making bandages right now. And then we can get the basic shelters up. You can get basic shelters up from sticks and hay, super easy. That's what we're gonna do. Um, for some reason, getting sticks is a little weird in the jungle sometimes. But I just do a chopping block and I just get wood. Then I don't have to worry about any of that shit. Um, okay, cool. So we did unlock the cure plant and we have one that we can harvest over here. So I'm gonna have her come harvest the cure plant. not what I wanted. Alright, that's the only one in the area. Okay. Um, the problem that happens is that uh, there's a lot of bad stuff. A lot of diseases that come and really screw you up. So you gotta be kind of careful. So we'll plant some cure plant over there. But most of it's most likely gonna get diseased. Alright, so we got skin bark, tropical, cure plant. Um, ooh, nice. We got more iron. 
Just want to keep scavenging. Hopefully we can get some better stuff. But we all have guns, and that's the important thing here. I also want to potentially ditch the pants because they decrease heat tolerance. I need to start making summer clothing. That's another huge mistake that I made. Um, not having proper clothing. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. Oh, nice. We got another one. I just need a couple antibiotics. Yes, you are the man. You are the man, Edmund. Those two antibiotics might might be like literally what saves us. Four. Okay, cool. We got four antibiotics. I still want to get wheat. I still want to get uh, a lot of stuff up. So I'm going to be pushing really hard for grain right now. All right, Yoko is is uh, sucking at life, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, she's good at other stuff. Uh, how much food do we got? All right. Now, another thing I want to do is I eventually want to disable raw food um, on all of them. I'm going to wait right now until uh, we get some basic stuff. Cool. We got 40. All right. We're going to get these shelters up. All right. All these thing, little things help. I mean, we're eventually going to be get in, be indoor cats, but uh, for the time being, we are outdoor cats. That's okay. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it nice. All right, we got fencing we can place. All right, so we're just going to do a very, very early game defensive design. I will need to carry this over here. And we're going to make this as simple as possible so that we actually have defenses on day one. We're just going to do a small little enclosure. Insufficient storage space. I'm well aware that our storage space is insufficient. Um, we're going to keep it simple. And we're going to keep it neat. We're going to make it so they have to run through a small gauntlet of traps. And that is going to slow them down. And we will need to move this over here. Again, this is just very basic. This will probably all mostly be destroyed. Just want to make sure that when we get attacked, we have just the rudimentary steps necessary to reduce the amount of damages we're taking. And I believe we're, we're pretty there. All right, so the question becomes, Outside storage. Outside storage. Let's empty and remove all of this. I just want to start moving everything out. I want it all underneath. Um, I want it realistically in these guys over here. These traps will help tremendously, though. Even if we can just stop a few bugs, it's it's going to make a difference. Other palms gotta go. All of you guys gotta go. Less than a day worth of food. Alright, we got the green cob. Beautiful. I'll grow it over here. And strips, like so. That way multiple um, only one person can work on a farm at a time. I like to do these things in strips so that you can have two people out here farming. Instead of just one. All right, and then they're telling us that we want us to research, and I totally agree with you. Let us let us be smart. All right, we're, we're keeping it simple. We're keeping it small. I'm liking it already. Everything's kind of weirding me out right now. The hell is that? Oh, freaking the plumbus or whatever the hell those things are. Okay, cool. Yeah, I know research. I got you. You don't need to keep reminding me, game. Don't be a dick. Alright. So, we got some antibiotics. Looks like we got some tree bark. So, the next thing we want to do is craft bandages. And we want to do this till we have 20. And, um, Yoko, it is your time to shine. High manipulation speed, high craft. 
All right, so we're gonna have, we've acquired a food supply, sorta. Um, looks like we're running out of food. We've acquired our basic medical supplies. And food is not hard to get. It's, uh, it's only one pull the trigger away at any time. So, we'll go out and get some meat for the group. We'll also get ourselves a campfire. Unless we're doing scrap. Um, that's fine with me. I'm going to set it over here for now. Got kind of a small little area. All right, we're doing really good. This is actually a pretty decent start. Getting sticks for kindling. Seventy-two days outside is not bad. All right, and they're planting crops. We got cures going. We're, we're doing good. What we really need to do is uh, harvest all of this. I'm gonna have her go harvest grain. Yeah, we don't have good farmers. That's kind of a drawback right now. But we, we can hunt. Um, I really need you to finish this fire, friend. All right, cool. And with the grain, uh, we do want to make sure that they are not eating raw grain. Because that shit's poisonous. Uh. Alright, we're going to make grain porridge until we have two. And then we'll make veggie soup until we have two. And then we'll make um, meat until we have two. Now, which one of you guys gets to be the lucky, the lucky man? Cooking two, cooking two, cooking three. Looks like it's you, Yoko. Make us some grain porridge. All right, we got food. We've got bandages. We've got medical supplies. Um, I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna have everybody kind of start moving this stuff because it's scaring me being out here. I do not want. Um, Foods, medicines, weapons, or electronics. Any kind of raw anything. They can do construction material out there, but everything else needs to be stored here. Inside. And then... What are we missing? Missing hay? Alright. Um, Krista, go get me some hay. Gonna cut a bunch of hay. Always good to have that on stock. Yeah, we're doing really well. We're we're getting like just the basic kind of stuff going, and uh, that's awesome. So let's pause. Let's look at our breakthroughs. So we got printed components. That's an amazing breakthrough on this. We also have fermented fuel. Another amazing breakthrough. Break. Oh man, and <laughs> crafting solar cells. Carb. Oh wow. Carbon wind. Wow. My name is a fantastic seed. These are some of the best. These are these are literally my top. Five favorite breakthroughs that have improved energy production off the bat. The ability to turn bug meat into fuel. Huge. That's going to be massive for us. That means we can make energy from the bugs we kill to power our guns early game. Or we can just make improved graphene. We also have printed components. That's very cool. Very cool. Um, that's not the same as the 3D printer, though. Uh, that's a different thing, I think. Um, and we want that as well. So that's a, that's a breakthrough we'll need to work on. So right off the bat, I think what we want to get our lightning rods. I learned the hard way. Um, you want to get lightning rods? Probably electrical grids. And then metal refine. Antibi- oh, no, 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 no. We want to be able to make antibiotics right off the bat. Um, then electrical grids. And we'll just leave it there for now. Right, and then Chris is off researching. Please don't cut that. Okay, yeah, she'll get the blade grass. I know there's a lot to research. Um, I'm not really that interested in shit. She's too tired, that's fine. All right, Edmund is going to build the defensive perimeter fence. And this will channel the bugs around and into the, the trap and we can stay back here with our guns. It's all great. We're going to have a good time. 
This is where I'm going to be building my first building. We'll expand the fencing as needed. It's so nice just seeing something come together. Now lots of food. Nice, and we're getting a lot of good scavenge. Eventually we'll get electronics. I need him to finish this because I just I really want to make sure that they're coming from one direction. There we go. Alright, I'm a happy man now. Get it all done, my friend. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we got safety. Alright, well, we can get a dartboard up. Um, we can do it on the outside, I think, of this. Yep, there we go. So now they got some entertainment. God, why are you throwing my bandages on the ground? You gotta pick that up out of the water. I want Yoko to craft bandages because we only have two. If we get hurt in any kind of way, we need enough bandages to stop the bleeding. And if we have to, we can clutch it because we have access to quite a bit more in uh, veggie leather around us. Why are you writing, Edmund? Oh, God, I forgot Edmund likes to write, man. This guy is killing me. Happiness effect if people read his stories. Man, this is so lame, but I can't... Alright, re read his story, Chris, that you're sad. Oh, he... Oh, wow, there, there's four of them. Wow. Wow, I'm a... I'm a jerk. This is actually amazing. This is an amazing skill to have. I can read some stupid story, like, in three seconds, and increase the happiness of all my people. Very cool. Very cool. I mean, that's super useful. Early, early game when everyone's all sad because their life is shit. That's wonderful. Alright, yeah, we're making great progress. Wow. I, I underestimated Edmund's lameness, man. He's the coolest, lamest person ever. Nice, Chris's physical one. Ooh, we got gas. Ooh, I probably, what I need to do is research, um, flamethrowers. Next. We're gonna, we're gonna go right into the good stuff. We're not, we're not gonna be stupid this time. We're, we're gonna just be kicking ass the whole way through this gameplay. I'm gonna have a flamer up, and it's it's gonna be the best flamer in the world. Be two times cooler than Todd's dad's flamer. Alright, and this is gonna be the flame compartment. Um, put a flamer there, put a flamer here. We can move all this stuff too, which is just great. I want I want Chris to just hyper focused on getting these technologies. We have we're gonna get the ability to make gas from bug meat. So we're gonna get a flamer here. It's gonna kill the bugs. We're gonna turn those bugs into more fuel. We're gonna be starting this game and the way they get this is yeah I love this seed man. Got to use the tactic cat seed. Best seed. Okay, we got antibiotics, we got uh, dried meat now that people can eat, so um, we're going to haul that dried meat over here. We got tons of food. We're, we're, we're starting off well this time, so let's go over to restrictions and say, we don't want you eating raw meats. Nobody can eat raw meats. They can eat dried meat. They can eat vegetables. They can't eat the grain. They can eat all the cooked. Okay, cool. And we'll keep disabling things as we see them. No, I don't want to reconstruct. I want to deconstruct my friend. There we go. All right, as soon as Krista wakes up, I want her to eat grain. No, she's waking up now. You're going to read a grain porridge. You're going to read one of his lame stories, and you're going to get to work. That's going to... Oh, she can't. She's already relaxed. That's good. That's cool. It makes him relaxed. It's a good way to uh, keep everybody kind of from going on edge and punching each other in their sleep. Ooh, and we got the palm meats. Can't... Can't forget the luscious. All right, we almost got flamethrowers researched. Some shit. I want to get that flamer up ASAP. Um, we can get some fermentation up now. That's great. Edmund, I want Edmund out here scavenging. I need enough parts to build this damn flamer. 
I feel like we're gonna get attacked any moment now. I even want Yoko out there, man. I just want everybody out there. All right, Yoko, go out there and find me some more. I think we need 20 iron bars. I don't know how many we have. I just realized we don't have enough clearance on this thing, too. Flamer won't, won't be able to be positioned here. Ooh, we got a pulse rifle. You got to be kidding me. That's amazing. We needed that bad. Pulse rifle will knock enemies out, so that, that could be a lifesaver right there. Oh, man. No research. Okay, cool. Let's look at the flamer now. Alright, so we need yeah, we need 20 bars. Right about here is where it's going to be put. Um, once you're done eating, everyone just needs to continue. Scavenging. We need that iron. Guess that should be our next technology. Metal refinement. And then... Um, basic construction. Yeah, those are two good ones right there. Probably metal lightning rods, too. Don't want to don't get neurological damage. Start researching, my friend. We need one. I need one freaking thing. Alright. Should probably get Krista out here paying in a way, too. We don't get this flamer up. We're on insane difficulty. This shit's not easy. Uh, we get hit. We're, we could be toast if we don't get this flamer up right now. That's all right, Krista. You'll wake up. Yeah, if we get um, metal... All right, well, I'm going to have Edmund start researching. We can get that metal one way or the other. I don't know if it'll be in time, though. We probably won't be in time. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked any second now. Damn it. Oh, no, 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 no. She got it. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh no no, she got where are they? Where the fuck are they? She got she got it. it says tw it says twelve. It says she scavenged twelve. Oh, that's like all together. Oh damn it. That's from earlier badges. Um I'm gonna give her a pulse rifle. Alright, let's hope he can clutch it. Um Yeah, we still don't have it. Shit, dude. All right, I'm gonna let everyone do their thing. We're not gonna clutch it. We're not gonna clutch it, Krista. Just get the fuck over here. Go eat something or something. Need you and your best spirits. Oh man, this is gonna be nuts. Soup. Probably should go out and start killing them, actually. One and one by one, but I don't know if I'll have time. Almost got that stupid-ass flamer up, dude. Okay. We need to stay close to everything. I need to be able to bust out this door when they come in. So let's just kill as many as we possibly can. Yoko with the stun gun in front. Krista, I'm gonna put near the door in the back. And then she can kind of like pull half of them by walking outside. This is gonna this is gonna be a rough day. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna get through this. All right, let's bust Krista out over here. All right, confuse them a bit. Now we can bust back in. I, mean, I know I'm cheesing, but we have like 59 bugs coming at us. Shit. Alright, Yoko. I want Yoko to pop outside with her stun gun. They're stunning these fools. Use your gun. There we go. That's what we talked about, Yoko. Okay, Yoko. You gotta stun these. Do it. Damn you, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this isn't going to plan. Not going to plan. Everybody will run out this way. There we go. 
We're just, we're, we're just like running out the doors. This is actually kind of funny. All right, Yoko can run inside now. Use the stun gun, Yoko. Man, this is fucking crazy ass combat right here. Come on, guys. Run through the door. Come on, use your guns. Oh my god. If I make it through this, it's gonna be an absolute freaking miracle. Let's get Yoko back inside. It's just basically moving the bugs around. Using the AI against them. Alright, help her out. Help him out. He can get his gun out, then we're in good shape. Alright, we got him down to eight bugs, my friends. I think we're gonna be able to survive this. Hopefully no no one has any serious injuries. It's all looking kind of superficial. Thank you. All right, well, we got meat. Okay. This is why you need a lot of bandages and we don't have as many bandages as I need. All right, craft them. Krista, eel. Oh, we have med kits, thank God. All right, we have med kits. So Yoko just needs to uh, sit down and wait for treatment. Which one are you, uh, we'll have, uh, we gotta We gotta get that flamer up ASAP. Which one of you has the highest um, aptitude here for healing? Healing is for Yoko. Yeah, she sucks. Um, in fact, I'm going to have her wait for treatment. I'm going to have Yoko heal Edmund. The birds are eating the dead. How bad are people bleeding out right now? Ten. He's at seven. At six. All right. She needs to... Move on to healing Krista. He's at six, she's at ten. Need to heal her fast. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous, huh? Yoko's at six, but she's got health. Krista's really screwed up. Man, this is clutch close right here. Okay, well, y Yoko's out for the count. So. You know, heal yourselves. Yeah. Everybody just fucking heal yourself because this is crazy. Yoko really needs to help out Krista, because Krista sucks. Edmund can probably get away with it. Yoko can probably get away with a little bit more, but yeah, she's... Krista's almost fully healed. Okay, cool. Alright, Edmund. Wait for treatment. Yoko. Whatever. That was that yeah, was bad. If I would have got that flamer up, totally different story, man. Seventy six, right off the bat. That's nuts. All right, we're in good shape though. People it doesn't look like any. People just have bitten out flesh and superficial wounds and... Alright, we need to, um, we need to make more bandages. Alright, cool. We're, we're good. Make some more bandages. Everybody needs to kind of heal. Oh man, that was crazy. We made it though. Um, 
I mean, we're close. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the flamer up next next time, and that's gonna make a huge difference. We're gonna make this a little bit longer too. I think we're gonna put a little bit more traps in this. <laughs> there we go. Let's make some more traps. I like I like the gate system though that I was really able to cheese the stuff. I want to make sure that people don't get infections or like get permanent damage, so we do need to like fully heal them. All right, so they're all cool now. Cool. All right, that was great. All right, welcome back to chapter two. We are healing. We're healing good. Those bugs. Those bugs were dicks, man. Um. A lot of them have decomposed to the point that I don't really want to invest any time breaking them down into meat. So we're going to continue. Krista is now zen. And she's doing pretty good. New beginning. Okay. So she's just really stoked to be here. That's fantastic. They're all pretty stoked to be here. That's it's going to change. It's going to change pretty quick. I, I have a feeling they're going to be not so stoked um, as time advances let's see what we got so we got the furnace finally we need to get some stone uh we need to get the stone i need to get that flamer up as we can see insane mode is not not playing around they will throw countless enemies at us so we got some melons we got the food we uh we need to prioritize getting ac as soon as possible uh first things first is i'm gonna get a main building up all right so we just need to research our first primitive buildings. I'm going to set this gentleman right here. And I'm going to expand the fencing area over here. And this is gonna probably be about like so. Shit, 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 shit. Lightning, lightning, not good. We don't want to get hit more than once. It's Yeah, he's already jacked. We need to... um. It's too late. I should have gotten this up. Alright. Um, yeah, I know. There. The lightning hurts. We need to get lightning rods up ASAP. Because this shit can, can really destroy your game. Oh god, Edmund, no. Edmund, no. Please. Just, just, just stay out. Stay out of the way. You cannot get hit again. He would have gotten, definitely would have just gotten hit by lightning again. All right, um, build the rod, Edmund. Build the rod. All right, now let Edmund, cause Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Build that rod, build it fast. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, we got minor protection. Ooh, that was close. Oh no, Yoko, do not go next to that metal ass thing in a lightning storm. You crazy lady, you crazy. Why are my people trying to make my life so difficult right now? All of them. They're just like, let's let's cling to objects that attract lightning in a lightning storm. Crazy. Okay. I want you to construct that so we can get this stupid thing up. I gotta stop myself from going crazy big. I'm just gonna get this much of the fence done. Where the hell are you going? Ah, uh, he's going to get the stone. Alright. Look at that. We got uh, antibiotics out the wazoo coming now. Oh, that's right. I forgot to... I uh, forgot to get these puppies up. This will be great. Aggressive animals. Okay, we got 40 of these puppies coming at us. And they're, um... They're north, right? Yeah, they're straight north. Cool. Looks like we got decent spawns. Oh, Edmund. Edmund, Edmund, Edmund. What am I gonna do with you? Um... No, Edmund, don't have a meltdown, please. This is not the time. All 
I just need to get... I need the alloys on this to complete. Um, and I need to get this flamer up. Let's get everybody in position, man. Alright, Yoko. You've got the best gun in the game. You didn't get the uh, additional traps up. Okay, cool. Um... Draft. Can anyone else construct this damn flamethrower? Alright, so we have the bugs coming. Here is the trick question. Will I get this flame up in time? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, please get this damn thing up. She's going slow on purpose. She's going slow on purpose. She's doing this. Doing this to uh, make my life hell. And draft. Draft. He's the better builder. Do it, do it, do it. Move, 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 move. Alright, here they come. Clutch. Clutch it, Edmund. Edmund, clutch it, damn you. Oh, Edmund, you are a hero. You are a hero, Edmund. We've got the flames. Ah, shit, it doesn't get the whole thing. We need two of them. Alright, but we got one. And I think I'm gonna move them up. Because I want the bugs to be... If we're fighting, I want the bugs to be all held at this point. Wow, they didn't even get to the flame. We're, we're kicking ass. We're kicking ass. We're on top of the world now. Yeah, Edmund. That's the vomit of victory right there. Alright. I know whenever I have a major win, I like to let it all out. Let's get some more skin bark. Just want to make sure that we have as much as possible. This is great. Alright. And then, um, what did we get? No, no, we need construction basics. Electric grids will be good. Tailoring will be good. Why does it say find and produce raw insect meat? Are we really? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's do that. We got lots of gas, though. There we go. Alright, I feel like we can start... Um, we, what do we have to trade? Don't have a lot of antibiotics, so it does appear we need to really start thinking about mass producing more of these bad boys. All right, let's get these barrels up, my friend. Get ourselves some super antibiotics going. Hire ourselves a fourth worker. All right, we need to um, continue trekking though towards towards the good stuff here. Primarily, we need to get AC, so we need to get electro electronics going. We need to get CPU cores. All the good stuff, but we need some electronics, and we're gonna have to get those randomly. I'm scavenging, so... Got all that good going for us. I feel like I have to force her to, uh, research right now. I know I could... I could set the priorities right. Alright, I don't want Krista... Cooking, mining... Scavenging... Everything else looks good to me. I kinda want... I want everyone working on plants and stuff. Very nice. I'm not, we don't need to get that stuff. It's too uh, too late. Observe. Lots to observe. get all this grain and we'll start just to make a said mass producing money it's money right there yeah. right. you go eat and then get back to work my friend insufficient storage space hmm that's not good 
I definitely need to start working on getting a structure up here soon. Oh, great. They're fighting. That's wonderful. Let's move this out of the way. I'm thinking I want to make... Um... Yeah, pick her up, please. I want to make my first building here. That lightning rod is definitely a good call. Probably saved a few people from having irreversible damage. Um. Alright. So what do I need? Shelter. When do I need it? Eh, probably like two, two turns ago. Um. Oh, that's cool. I can just put the shelters right over stuff. Neato. Um. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't... We're kind of... I just, I really just want to get proper things up. Let's empty this and deconstruct it. Okay, we got money over there too. Build these out for him, please. Yeah, let's make sure she doesn't get a bad disease. We can't have her going out this early in the game. She's inspired. He still has a lightning injury. That shit lasts a while. You do not want that stuff to become permanent. We found that out last game. That stuff hurts. Observe, observe. But first, let's finish the building. Now right, we're close. And then after that, we get um all the basics. All right, cool. All right, so here's the deal. We need like basic storage. I'm gonna do something. Storage on one side. I like to do it this big. And we'll stick with this for now. We're gonna keep it simple. I'm not gonna go crazy. I can always add to it. Gotta tear the, the walls down. This is actually going to take quite a bit of resources on its own. But we can at least get the people inside, get the crafting buildings inside. This. That's the perfect storage. Um. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not the perfect storage length. Oh, one more tile. We basically want shelves all along this side, right? And then we want stockpiles in the middle of these two areas here. Oh, I already had it, sorry. Can't see shit with these, uh, way they do this. Okay. And then a walkway here. And then anything else, other uh, crafting stations will probably go right here. Oh, that's nice. We can do it right, yeah, we can do the entry in the north. Perfect. Crap. I didn't realize I already did it. Alright, well that's cool. We'll have a we'll have an interesting little roof. <laughs> that's for sure. But this will fit all of our storage. We'll fit everything. 
And this will be the new area. And we'll bust we'll bust into the other area once that's up. Put in gates so we have easy access in and out. I'm gonna get people out here cutting wood for a bit. Um I just wanna get this all I just wanna get this done. I don't see any of those avatar trees nearby. Those things have like 250,000. No, it's just, it's just 250. Feels like 250,000, but yeah. They have 250 wood. We didn't get any of those spawns near us. Alright, Edmund, build us. Build a super fort for us. Might be able to put the sleeping bags in between here, too. That would be kind of cool. Just utilize all the space it has. Alright. Okay, yeah, and this thing will protect us. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Do not be scavenging in a thunderstorm, please. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep during the thunderstorm. Need to make sure Edmund doesn't go outside of this. Nice, Edmund's getting pretty good at construction. There we go. Now we got real storage. That lighting rod's probably saved our asses so many times now. I'm going to start moving all of these guys in here. Krista, don't go outside, please. You're creeping me out. She's like trying to get hit by lightning or something. She's got some problems. And we need to keep cutting trees. Harvest that food. Oh, we don't need that much food. Go, two palms. Yeah, we can keep uh keep keep trekking on. Lots to do. Yeah, we can. It's awesome. <laughs> Put their beds down in between everything. Somebody please haul. Somebody's haul those coins. Don't leave them outside. This is great. Alright, now we can empty and destroy that. Now we can empty and destroy this. and deconstruct the whole thing. Get rid of all this jazz. D&D &D construct. And don't break my, my shit, Krista. That's not nice. Alright, we're getting all the wood we need for sure. Yeah, Krista, this is why we can't have nice things, Krista. What are you doing? Alright, and for the inside storage, I don't want any raw, any foods. I just want construction equipment. I don't want apparel, especially. Yeah, I just want the... Oh, shit. 55, huh? Oh, wow, those are close. I think we should be okay. They're on this side. We should be able to run back in time. I'm just gonna let people keep working. All right, never mind. Let's get everyone back. How many can Edmund piss off? I let Edmund kill a few. Especially those stink bugs, those guys suck. Alright. He's gone too far. Alright, again we're going to take up a point here so that the flame... I don't want any of these bugs getting past the flames. Got lots of traps. I'm actually really liking this uh, defense setup here. I'm probably going to have the maze go north and um, have it go through here. Probably have the towers like right here. I might try something different. Alright, let's speed this up. 
Oh shit, they're all rain. Krista just got knocked the fuck out. That's great. I think I need to step everyone back just a tad bit. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, we're not gonna be able to hold the point. The flamer's working, our weapons are working. Krista, oh my god, Krista, don't run into it. All right, oh, we're, we're, we're groovy, the flamer worked. Need to get a gun for the, the birds, though. I probably need to go butcher one of these guys for a little bit. I just want the meat. Alright, everyone start hauling shit. I can't be leaving all our good stuff outside. Got ourselves a nice little house now. I'll leave the table where it is for now. We're under a roof, so that at least gives us some protection. Almost got the house done. Alright, yeah, everybody just go to sleep for a bit. need to get cracking on getting AC. If we can get AC, we're going to be in really good shape. After we get AC, I want to get a laser gun. Nice. Krista had research inside. This is why Krista's amazing. She just can, like, instantly research things, basically. Um, I need electronics. Okay. So, in order to do that, we have to go back to... Um, Probably should, what I should probably do is end up researching the ability to break down these ship components a little bit more. Do that, and then... Wow, oh, force field barriers, that's interesting. And then where should we go from there? Refrigerators wouldn't be too bad, but, uh... Sleep training? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see if we have electronics in time. If we get electronics, then we're gonna, we're gonna start researching that shit. Where the hell are you going, Edmund? And he used the gate. That was weird. Walked all the way around this way, and he could have just gone down here. Yeah, I got you. Electric grids are cool. Very nice. But I don't wanna. I don't have it. I do have a lot of antibiotics. I don't know if I have enough to... I need probably like around one or two hundred to make the kind of money that I want. Box of cash, great. Alright, we need to get the... We need to get the rest of this up. Protect us from the toxic ash. Come on, get it up. <laughs> He's like, nah. I'm gonna go eat. All right, fine. We'll read toxic ash in. I'm hoping Yoko can get some electronics, though. That'd be a godsend right now. Not bad. I won't. I won't complain. But uh, we need electronics. Yeah, please get him up and out of the dirt. Radio. Let's contact, um... 
Hmm. Galactic Trade League. Let's see contact. Let's see. Let's see if we can start making some money. I really would like to get a fourth person. Um, having a fourth person would be big. Problem is when you start off in insane difficulty, it's like I really don't have much to sell. I could sell this gun. I have an extra gun I can sell. That may or may not be a good idea. Um, considering it's such a valuable weapon. But getting a fourth. Well, and I need it for the fourth person. But getting a fourth person would uh tremendously. I mean, that'd be a massive increase in our productivity. Dep especially depending on what kind of person we get. Like if we get Lara, for instance, she's a, a double farmer. Um, that's like having two farmers. So pretty cool. Ooh. Everybody get outside now. We got cure plants to harvest. So right here, we got um, 30, 30 more we can sell. You need to haul those. Those can't be left outside. You need to build this base, sir have all the materials, you're just being lazy. Yeah, he still has that lightning injury from earlier in the game. Isn't that crazy? He's finally getting better, but... Alright, just get that last part of the roof up, my friend. There we go. We got ourselves a house. They're all breathing in toxic ash. Nice. Nice. Go haul that shit in. Very cool. Yes, I can uh, extend it out. I'm surprised I'm not getting a lot of diseases like I did last playthrough. I haven't got any disease yet. It's actually kind of crazy. Last playthrough, I was getting diseases every other year. I think it's because I was growing the uh, wheat grass, which it may not be native to the jungle. Because you see, now I'm growing the inferior um, grain cob, which produces less. It grows a little bit faster, but like honestly, the green grass is 20. But it was getting disease all the time. I'm not growing it. I haven't had disease once. So I wonder if there's a correlation between growing non-native plants and diseases so we'll find out if i don't get any diseases we'll know that's the thing that is um the cotton over here i don't know if that cotton is is going to cause um issues um versus the purple leaf which seems to be the the jungle equivalent all right so i can sell them all my antibiotics but probably six That'll give me 24,000. Okay. Oh my god, I can sell them. I can sell my short stories for 1,600? Man, Edmund. <laughs> so wrong about you, Edmund. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, well, that's 30K. I think I can hire someone for half a year. Is that 30K? I think I need 48. Oh my god, I think I need 48. All right. Well, we're we'll we'll do another another day. All right. Okay. We're getting close. Shit. Everybody, just keep working. We know our defenses can hold, so I'll let them sleep. I don't want them in combat stance passing out. Um, I'm just gonna let all everybody sleep until the bugs come. Everybody get your rest. Cramped room, negative nine. Ooh, they don't like that it's a cramped room. I was also wondering, like, because in the last one I had one room for all of them, wondering if I can just do, um really small rooms for all of them and get the plus nine i think you can do two by threes i don't know how well the ac will run through a setup like that but that might be a way to get the bone and have your cake and eat it too kind of thing all right edmund holy shit there's a lot of them back up a bit 
Again, I, I want to keep them. I want to keep them clustered in here if I can. Yoko, you need to be aiming the other way. Yeah, this is kind of getting crazy already. Yeah, but you see, we're bot they're running around in here, which is perfect. So, oh shit. This is getting a little bit crazier as we go. Yoko got kind of screwed up there. As long as none of their imp no, their injuries are permanent, I'm happy. I don't like the fact they're running around all weird like that. Alright, go. Alright, Yoko's gonna heal herself. Fine. She's only losing one blood, that's pretty good. Alright, they're all they're all pretty good. Chopping block over there. Barrels are good where they are. This is good where it is. I'm gonna make this kind of the defensive area, I'm pretty sure. Already have it. Might as well, right? Siren. Um cooking stove. Lots of cool lights. I need to get Krista back on uh back on the reading. We need to be able to deconstruct these spaceships that are right next to us. Solar Eclipse, no impact, of course. We're not technologically advanced enough to be inconvenienced. Um, you're already doing it. That's right, give up your stories, Edmund. I need money. Alright, cool. She's gonna go get that. Everybody's doing their part. Feels good. Keep loading that damn thing. What else do they want? Gave them everything. Oh, it was like one more story or something? Alright, cool. Now I get some money. Alright, cool. We need freaking wood, and all we got are these dirty, dirty sa <laughs> sausage palms. I'm gonna guzz them down, man. Like, I just need wood. Alright, how much money do we got? 37,000. We need about 10,000 more, I think, to get someone for a year or half a year. We're getting close. Keep keep a, a reading there, Krista. And I'll have um, Yoko make more bandages because I think we're getting low. Shit, people are losing clothes. Yeah. I'm worried about what happens when we get hot. We might have to do some tact. If we get hot and attacked, shit's gonna get wild. We cannot afford for shit to get wild. That is how you die. I feel like we're at a stage where I could probably do two flamethrowers and not think twice about it. Um, I'm gonna have to back these guys up a bit if I do it, but, um, or I could, what I could do is have a flamer here, kind of like a little bit more gauntlet-ish. That way we have a flamer that catches anyone who makes it past. Yeah, that would probably be the best, best way to do it. It's so awesome to see everything just like coming, coming into play though. Yeah, we're gonna put the flamer there. Um, limit reached. Oh shit! Do it. No, no, we don't want to do it X times. We want to do it um, till we have two hundred.
Yeah, and then we'll get another flamer up right here, and then we're gonna be we're gonna be sitting pretty. Unless the birds come, and then we're fucked. Birds come, we're all dead. When the birds come, I'll probably just hide in the house until they break off one part of the roof, and then have everyone fire. Yeah, I know. Shit's getting real. Well, at least Chris is doing some work. I'll give her that. I have to get back to research. Yeah, we just... Man, once I can get eight... Once I can get, like, a basic energy going, right? Then we're in shape. I need to finish this damn fence off, too. This is what I was talking about, about being too ambitious. Like, I need to be focused on... On, um just getting the basic shit down but i've i've scavenged everything around me i can scavenge i could go out further to scavenge but it gets risky because if i miss anything like there's a nest or this or that like shit can get um she can get bad oh no she has the fever all right and this is why you want to have a good handful of antibiotics on hand cool Press the fever. Everybody's going to bed now. That's good. We're making good progress. Could do trade. We could start making trade goods. But, uh, hey. Scrap metal, stone. Now, nah, hay and wood would be the ones I would want to make it. Let's do that. Yeah, when they have time. Hay, hay sounds like a really good thing to make goods from because you could just grow that shitty grass. Maybe I, I, I should just, I should just try to find someone. Maybe I can get someone for half a year. Maybe I can get someone cheap. No, that nobody wants. All right, Edmund, get back and back into that. Ooh, farming too. Yeah, if we can get that fence up, then I can. Actually, it doesn't really matter if we get the fence up or not. Still, as long as we throw everybody into the defended area, they'll they'll go there. Nice. Look at that, Chris added insight, boom, got it. We're back in the game. You go outside and you bang, you bang to your heart's content, Edmund. Look at him go, he's so happy. What did we get? Yeah, we need a little bit more. All right, well, what technologies are we going for now? Um, we, I guess we'll do fuel fermentation. We still, and flare would be good. We still have not gotten uh, many electronics, so it hasn't been able to proc the other research. Yes, the sleep one is a really good one. I should really probably focus on five days. Oof, that's too long. But if she has one of her um, moments, though, she can instantly research it, I think. Oh, nice! Edwin got a freaking lightsaber. Hell yeah. Let's put lightsaber it up, Edwin. Uh, I was hoping for electronics, but lightsaber, you can't. I'm just gonna get everybody out here. Like, we have to get, ele we have to get electronics now. Like, this can't wait. We gotta get air conditioning. If that heat wave hits and we're not prepared for it, we're, we're toast. Uh, cause 
what we might have to fight. And if we have to fight in a heat wave, we need to be able to cool down afterward or we'll all, we'll all just die. The heat waves are no joke. Like, they're no joke. Last time I, hit, I had a heat wave and I didn't have AC, I had to have everyone sit inside and their core temperatures were one degree away from going nuts. Um, everyone's passing out from working. Okay, cool. I'll work you all to death. Need, I need that electronics. It's like that scene in Willy Wonka when that rich girl's dad has like a hundred people opening like chocolate bars to find the ticket. So I feel right now with these spaceship debris, I just working all my people to death to find that Willy Wonka golden ticket to uh, air conditioning. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it if I have to work every one of you. Probably not to death, but like enough Enough that you will regret life. That's the exact amount of work that will be involved. Yoko is sadly wandering, so it looks like she, I worked her to that point of regretting life. Okay. Now the others... Oh, shit, 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 shit. She's starving. No, Edmund's starving, too. Okay, yeah, we all gotta go eat. I'll give you, I'll give you a ten-minute lunch break. Yoko's just like, I don't care. Alright, I really need some time off to relax. Well, I think I got rid of their dartboard by accident, so... I need to get that back up. Right there, right there over the beds. Throwing darts over people while they sleep, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna let everyone rest and sleep, because they're all kind of fucked up. We got money, we got food, minor amount of antibiotics, a lot of uh, veggie leather. Need to get more bandages. I don't think we have too many. Yeah, we don't. Okay, 60 of them. Yeah, we seem to be pretty good with the spawns. I feel like I'm going to be able to actually bump this down. And this over, once this is fully removed, um, we'll bump the maze up. We don't actually really need too much space, so we're not going to have crazy amount of space. Um, I might bump this out a little bit. Like, this looks like a good spot for... Shit, Krista's pissed. Oh, fuck. No, Krista, please do not knock people out right before we're attacked. Oh, fuck, Edmund, you better run. <laughs> run, Edmund! Run! For run! I'm hoping Krista, Krista calms the fuck down. She could end up killing all of us. Yep, she's gonna end up killing all of us. Um, Yoko has the gun that's necessary for us to survive this, and she's knocked out. My, uh, my working people to death may have backfired. She just got her shit together. Um, alright. No, no, oh shit, they're gonna go for Yoko. That, that actually might be a good thing if they go for Yoko, because she's inside a building. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. I believe. Oh god, oh god, this is not going to plan. Well, if Yoko wakes up, she might be able to come to the rescue. Luckily, Edmund has his lightsaber, so... Um, that lightsaber might save the day. Hell yeah, lightsaber for the win, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Edmund Gamble. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed, man. Okay. Okay. Things are, um... Things are not going well. Alright. Yep. 
Yeah, you need to heal yourself, Krista, because it's gonna be a while. Nice, nice. All right, these are all ri oh blood infection. That's not good. Um. My God, this is bad. All right, he's only at two. Krista's at five. I think Yoko can clutch this for sure. It's a good way to get your healing up, though. That's for sure. They're all fine. They're all gonna make it. We definitely need to get the second uh, flamethrower up right here. Like I said, crisscross them. Um, I think, however, I want this to be deconstructed and I'm gonna push it back one tile. No, Edmund's fine. Edmund's at two per hour, he's gonna be fine. Krista's at zero. Okay, let's switch to Edmund. Edmund is... Yeah, Edmund's pretty jacked. We need to get Edmund at least down to one per hour. He's... Yeah, he's all kinds of jacked up. But he's gonna live. He's gonna survive. You feed, um, you craft bandages. Let's make sure Edmund doesn't die. Though he likely will if we don't get shit rolling faster. I believe in the clutch. I believe you can clutch this, Yoko. Come on. It's just got a couple more flashes bitten off. Alright, we got him down to one. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost just I almost just lost it there. Alright, cool. Um definitely need to have more bandages in store. That was that was bad. That was really bad. Um definitely need to to get a lot of stuff going. Alright, what's your happiness, Edmund? You're pretty miserable? Makes sense. They're all burnt out, negative 18. I worked them too hard. Alright, I'll let um, Yoko do this then. Right there. That's perfect. And then we need to make sure that the rest of this fence gets up. Efficient. I'm gonna have Chris to do it. We can get the rest of the defenses up, and then uh, next time they come, we'll have two flamers, and that should actually do it right there. And two flamers will definitely take care of the majority of this shit. All right, keep keep going, guys. Walk it off there, Edmund. Or actually, Edmund should probably eat. I'm gonna let Edmund take care of himself. Handling fermentation barrel, perfect, Edmund. Don't eat. Go get those drugs. At least we got drugs now, though. Um, that's really good. Yoko's gonna eat, and I'm gonna have her craft more uh, bandages. We need bandages bad. I want her constructing. Hungry pass, 54, perfect. We need to get this shit up now. Connor. Connor's perfect, because Connor's combat. He gets the eye infection. But, um, he can help. 
he can help a lot with combat and just manual labor until he dies with the infection. That's perfect. Connor's a great, not a good top three because he, when his eye gets infected, you can't cure it. I learned that the hard way. Connor basically inevitably dies. Um, let's give him a rail gun, but he's an amazing shot. Double, I think he has double firepower, or whatever. He shoots twice as fast or whatever. Yeah, shoots twice as fast. Occasionally intimidates others. He's, he's awesome. I couldn't ask for a better, a better find. Cheap, good with the gun. Just have him sit out here and kill all these bugs. Ah, shit. <laughs> he got a little messed up. And then he can also do labor, so he's perfect. Yeah, look how fast this guy shoots. He's going to be an amazing addition to this village. Yeah, he's just he's just decimate and him alone can take on some of these armies. This is crazy. Connor, just do whatever. Do whatever, Connor. Fire and fence? Yeah, sure. Why not? What's his construction? Two? Not bad. He's got cooking. And he's physical? Yeah, he's perfect. Ooh. I don't like that. Ah, oh, man. I'm so happy right now. Connor's like... Wait. I only spent... Did I even pay him? I still have all my money. I pay. I, I'm missing like a hundred coins. I pay like a hundred coins for Connor. Is Connor just that cheap? Does nobody want? Oh, I must have got. He must. Oh, I must have got him for free. There, I forgot there's an event where um, people will come for free. So I didn't even have to pay for him. That wasn't from me looking for someone from a job. That was just someone saying, "Hey, I'll come work for free because I'm a piece of shit." It's awesome. I did some bad things and I need a place to lay low. Yeah, you can lay low here. You can kill all the bugs you want, Connor. We need a we need a savvy bug killing man. Nice, and he can help with all the salvaging. Alright. This is great. There we go, we did it. Now we can just focus on getting everything else up. Oh yeah, we need to get him up bed. Hey, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to have a sleeping spot. I know I need to I need to get a, a bedroom up for everybody. Flamer there. Alright, so three tiles for a bed. Let's just do a five by five and no, we'll do a five by we'll do a six by six to match um match this. And this will just be the bedroom for everybody. I don't know, it probably won't be as cramped as the other room. And now that we have him here to help cut down trees, I think we'll get this one up a lot faster. We already have a door, don't we? Yeah, Connor can make this one. All right, well, now that we've got all this stuff up, I just need to get rid of this fencing because it's just uh, messing with the AI. That's great. Look at that. 
All right, Krista, I need to, um, now that I have him here, I don't want Krista doing any kind of harvesting or cutting. She can plant. I don't want her, um, she can harvest. I don't want her cutting though. And I want to make sure. Yeah, I should probably start telling him like what to do. Two hours of relaxation, two hours of sleep. All right, I really just want Connor focused on no, I don't want Connor ever doing research. I don't want ever want him doing any kind of crafting. Cooking is cool. Uh, I just want him doing grunt work. Nice. Connor likes to read. Yeah, Connor's amazing. An amazing. Ama yeah, I got him for free. That's just nuts. He's just he's just so awesome. Seventy three, huh? I don't want hay. Okay. I'm gonna let them keep working. Okay, so they spawn pretty close. So yeah, I don't really, I think if I go anywhere, I'm gonna go over this direction with my electronics stuff. This will be buildings, this will be electronics. To the north will be farming, to the west will be farming. You know what, I don't even want her on plant. I just really want her focused on research. Yeah. Nope, not even harvest or planting. You're just gonna do research. Not even handling. Still need the electronics. I guess I could get diesel generators going. Now that I can ferment, uh, Oh shit, here they come. Alright, here we go. Now let's see what happens when we got two flamers. This is gonna be dope. Got Yoko on point with this. Whoa, that was neato. Yeah, look at that. That crossfire is perfect. Oh, one got through. Oh, nice. He ran away. Oof, that hurt. That was cool. That was very cool. Teamwork, man. I think Connor's only gonna be here for six months, though. I think that's what it said, is that he'll be there. He'll come over for six. And then he'll leave. He'll leave me. Make sure he doesn't steal money when he leaves. Alright, um... Mm, looks like skin bark bed is where it's at right now. Probably can put a... Yeah, I think this will be a perfect room for our colony. I have five beds in there. Yeah, even th at least though when Connor leaves, I know I'll have I'll have the defenses I need. Realistically speaking, I could even, um, oh, uneven terrain. Interesting. I could do this, too. Just really screw up anybody who comes over here. It's actually not a bad idea. As you see, if I have it like this, it's going to trigger as they're coming towards us. I like that. 
Let's do that. Just a trifecta of, of burning there. Alright, I want you doing... I want everybody on spaceship debris. Need electronics. There we go. I summoned I summoned it with my desire. Alright, cool. So now I can do wind turbines. And then I need I need um CPUs. And electronics. We need silicone. Okay, that's easy. We got that right here. I'm actually gonna send Yoko on this one. Requires five medicines. Okay. Shit, he got parasites. He could get permanent brain damage. I'm gonna wait. I don't want a permanent brain damage on him. There's nothing I can do about a random, a random freaking event like that. Alright. Iron. Let's dial this down to a uh, hundred. I don't. I want some scrap on hand. Okay, we got cloth blossoms. I think this might trigger some issues though, as I was predicting a while ago. We'll try. Cloth blossom would be great. Oh damn dude, look how fast she's getting wind turbines. Solar next. Um, what else do we want? Coffee might be good. Tailoring for sure. Alright, man. We're there. The basic stuff up. Probably need to get more veggie leather. Alright, cool. We got the silicone leaf. Now let's harvest some of that. I actually need to get as much of this shit as we possibly can. I'm gonna wake his ass up. Got a freaking room over here. Yeah, Edmund's all kind of jacked up. He still has that lightning injury. It's temporary. It takes... It seems like it's taken a long time for him to get over it. Yeah, let's get these beds up, man. I want to get this house up badly. Alright, it looks like we got the silicone. No, we didn't get it. We lost the harvest. That's alright, we'll get it in the morning. Make? Once you eat, make a freaking bit. Oh, no, Connor's doing it. No, Connor's going to bed. Connor's a dick. Oh, wow, we got a lot of food about to rot away. Dude, please, for the love of God, build the freaking beds. Everyone's, like, refusing to make these beds. I just built this awesome house. Connor's like, nah, I'm gonna construct a flamethrower. Did I block it? Oh my god, I'm such a dummy. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> There's no door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that might, that might explain why no one is, uh, is building it. There we go. Now we're talking. Go get 
give me that silicon. All right, cool. We got coffee. There we go. Human enhancement. Oh, I don't really care. Share it with everybody. Nah, I'm gonna just do it on him. He's leaving anyway. Uh, he, we can experiment away on him. All right, electronic crafting is next. We get tailoring for now. Um, well, tailoring actually. No, let's do tailoring because we can make hats. That will be something we can immediately do for the heat wave that's coming. You got a little jacked up from that, but uh, other than that, yeah, nanites. Plus 50 health, plus 20 pain, movement, manipulation increase, that's awesome. Yeah, you guys got beds, why would you sleep over there? Oh, Cave Dweller. Oh shit, I totally spaced on that. I've had Cave Dweller this whole time. All you gotta do is put flooring down to get rid of a uh, Cave Dweller. Should have Cave Dweller every place. Edmund, he's just like, what do I do with my life? You build, Edmund. That's what you're doing. You're a builder. Cut me down some more sausage. This is actually really cool. I think it's like we got the one flamer going through the two flamers. Like it's just gonna melt everything that comes at it. <laughs> so it's like a really primitive defense design, but it's like it's working very well. Um, if I got wooden defenses up, I could I could do some better stuff here. People vomiting, going berserk. It's a madhouse here. We're getting there. I might actually be able to get a CPU from uh, just breaking down spaceships too. Lots of lots of ways to get what we need. Oh wow, I probably don't need to cut down the entire rainforest after all. Alright, silicon. Yeah, we definitely want to start this going. 69! Alright, well, that's going to be easy. Alright, cancel. Cancel. It's enough, just start transporting shit. Yoko, you need to go, like, sit the fuck down before you go crazy. I'm gonna probably move this over here and get out of the combat, combat area. Alright, let's place the snipers on the right. Let's place Yoko on the left right here. Let's place, and Connor can go over here too. Actually, Connor should go right here. There we go. There we go. Everyone's in harmony. Perfection. We're gonna melt this attack. I've been lucky. This has been all been bug attacks. Yeah, ain't nobody getting past this. And we can make fuel. I, I just gotta unlock the secrets of fuel making. I should probably do that one actually next. They come. Here come the bugs. Yeah, with the pulse, Yoko's pulse gun. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Edmund's got a lightsaber, man. You don't mess with Edmund. All right, yeah, only a few got through. That was pretty good. 
And there wasn't anything we couldn't handle. <laughs> One straggler who's late to the party. He's like, wait up, guys. Alright, I'll let Connor take care of him. There we go. I need Connor to construct the rest of this flooring so we don't get that negative. We really need something to make us happy. Or not. Come on, get up. Get up and build. What about the one right underneath you? There we go. Very nice. Meow, meow, and Yoko, I need, I need your guidance. We need a ton of freaking. Oh, colony ship. Uh, oh, nice. We can, we can sell electronics. We can buy it. Um, keep ten. I could send this up. Get thirteen thousand, but. I'll have enough fuel. Oh yeah, sell tell his stories for sure. Or prospecting, quarter of a mil. Yeah, 14,000. Well, that will give us enough to uh, buy another person. I'll rent, sorry. Rent another person. Very nice. Nice. I love that Krista's just such an amazing person to have on your team. With her, her genius perk, she just always is researching and discovering things faster than anyone else. We got electronics. Uh, next we'll get fermentation to make gas from bug meat. Oh, we got our first uh, blight. I feel like it was like a... I don't know. Like it's the... We didn't even have any cloth blossoms, but... Alright, no more building. I want everyone doing other stuff from now on. Alright, cool. We're gonna, um... We're gonna put a job offer out. Post a job offer and see if anyone takes it. Nice. Six more electronics. We're going to need this energy for the bench that we need to get up. Nice. Got a lot of. I love uh, salvaging. Is great because you can find weapons. You can find everything. I might be able to find all the parts I need to build an air conditioner if I get lucky. Looks like we need more wood. Let's see how they're doing, though, and being in the same room. They're getting a plus nine from being in a comfy bed. That's pretty dope. Instead of getting a negative, they're getting a slight positive. We're doing the one room because we're going to put an AC in here. Uh, once we have enough power and AC for more, we'll, we'll do everyone's individual rooms. And what's cool, though, is when you do this, um, if it gets 125 degrees, you can come back in here and cool down so you can keep working. You don't have to worry about the weather. They'll get to, like, 102, 103 by the end of the day, and then they'll come back here and cool down. That's why it's, it's beneficial to have everyone in one room and with an AC conditioner that can survive anything. And then you don't have to stop working. You don't have to worry about anything. Only well, you got to wor worry about, it, or, like, birds. Um, shit. I'm starving to death. Connor. 
Hunter's got to go get some food for us. I feel like we've killed everything that moves around here. Um, these guys are not very... Yeah, they're not very good. Beggars can't be choosers, though. Let's get them going on that stuff. Well, I mean, there's plenty of sausage. So they should just go harvest that. Connor, find something to kill. It's all a little too far away. There we go. Whoa, what the fuck is that thing? Great. That's just what I need. So I'm having a meltdown. Alright, well we got 150 of that shit. That should be good. Oh man, severe xenoflower. A plant disease has been carried to our farms by the wind. Okay. Guess it's just random. like that's enough. I got like 150. Edmund got the meat, so. Shit, she's looking at trees. I want her researching. Once she gets electronic, we'll get a soldering bench, and then it's just silicone and iron at that point. We got all the shit we need. I don't know how much wood we have. Probably not a lot. Alright, we can make hats. That's good. That's gonna be our first order of business, is just making straw hats. We need hay. Wow, I don't actually have hay. Interesting. It's grass. All right, we'll we'll grow some. Need it for uh, making bricks anyway. Edmund's creeping about while people sleep, disturbing everyone's sleep. Thanks, Edmund. Freaking creeper. Yeah, Connor's like, I've all right, I've had enough of this. I better go work. And the toxic ash is not helping. I should get a window to let some light in. I think you get a bonus. Here we go. Yeah, let's get some light. Oh shit, we didn't make it. We didn't get there in time. Okay. Not enough resources. Okay. Not good. Not good. off the jacket, take off the shirt, take off the pants, anything that lowers heat resistance we want to remove, keep on anything that helps. All right, and we need to make hats. Um, not good. Not good, we did not get shit up in time. Go get the fucking hay, man. We gotta make hats. Emergency hats. 
Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get AC in time. I wish they had another way to cool things down in this game. Outside of resurging electronics and getting AC. Like, ice. I don't know. Again, they jump in the, the water there. It's like anything. I think it's one, one of the drawbacks of this game is... There's no way to fight this unless you have an AC. Get the fucking straw hat, Yoko. Everyone needs a straw hat, and you are the only one. It's up to you. Mm. Yoko's having heat stroke. Cool. Yoko's gonna be the first one to get the hat. So we gotta watch their levels. They can't go over 109 or so, or they die. So, yeah, we got 52,000. Still got the job offer out there. Alright, first hat goes to Yoko. No, I don't want to be any, damn it. Straw hat. Alright. In other ways, they let make them all sleep outside, but I don't know how different. Yeah, it's a little hot in there. The, the bonus from the beds might keep them alive with happiness. But yeah, they're definitely hot. Uh, over 100. 99, 99, that's good. When they're over 100 that I get worried. We're close, though. I mean, like, we gotta rush to get AC. If we were attacked right now, like, we'd be in serious trouble because we'd be sitting outside in the heat. All right, as soon as she wakes up, we're going outside and we're, we're gonna get uh, another hat made. We just basically need to get through this heat wave. God damn it, Krista. I need to select these for dismantling, is what I need to do. Just have them take off the clothes and have them set it to dismantle. That way they can't wear them ever again. We keep getting blighted. Oh fuck, man. Luckily, we're all under 98, and the heat wave isn't too bad. It's not the 125. This is like our, our warning heat wave, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. It's actually cooler inside than outside. Oh, and they're doing okay. I, I was about to throw them all inside, but they're actually doing okay when they took off all that shit. Connor did a bad job on all the antibiotics. That's terrific. Alright. Take positions. It's only 62. It's not bad. Shit, we should not be hitting those explosive bloody bugs that close. If they break through, they'll go right around our defenses. Whoa. Didn't even get to the defense. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, Jack Davis. Combat 7, Physical 5, Intellect 3. Construction 2, Cooking 2, and another combat person. 45,000 for half a year. Okay. Not a long time, but um, 
any help we can get is anything we I mean food's not hard really I can go out and shoot stuff um, it really isn't that difficult to get I have Connor make food yeah make rancid food all right cool we got Jack uh, let's Jack do combat instructor awesome oh nice so he's gonna yeah he's perfect perfect Jack, I'm gonna let Jack do whatever he wants. He can repair a fence, he can do whatever. Yep. Go for it, Jack. Get that get that uh farming up. Yeah, you're gonna fail, but um uh, actually okay, Jack, I don't want you doing that. I don't have time I don't have time for mistakes right now. He can plant, but I don't want him cutting. And I don't want him harvesting. I want someone who's trained to do it, because we need all the food we can get. Start cooking food. I'm hoping our construction days are over. I just want everyone scavenging. Alright, we're still at 100, so we're okay. As long as we don't get over 108 or 109, we're fine. Yep. Planting is perfect for someone like Jack, but not harvesting. Just awesome having someone to help out with all the things that need to be done. Edmund's pissing me off. Yeah, look at Jack go. He's a trooper. New resource coffee. Cool, we made coffee. Now that will help the energy levels. Um, as soon as we get the uh, electronic research. I'll have Yoko do research. I don't care. I just need to get that bench up. I don't know where the hell I'm going to put it, but... Yeah, there's nowhere to put another bench in this design. level does this need to be at? Does that work? Just need enough room. Need enough room for a bench. down the flooring. Let me get a roof on this baby. A real roof. And there we go. Now we can put this soldering bench over here. We can have room for two benches over here. Nice. This is great, man. I feel like we're, feel like we're making it now. Oh shit, look at the stream of heat. Like almost killed all those sausage plants. Or that might have been a disease too. Alright, we need to research how to make oil next. Oil extract then. Ooh, palm oil. Yeah, palm oil is a good way to make uh, gas. A lot of good stuff. beanies. No more beanies in this society. God damn it. Stop opening. Okay. Now Jack's being a, a menace. Just waking everybody up. Alright. Um, what kind of tops we want? We want t-shirts, right? Let's make sure people are planting too. 
Okay, I need everybody playing. We need another one of these in case we get another uh, disease. Plant multiples. Alright, now we'll be able to make electronics. Now I can make... Um, should be able to make the CPUs. Right, why don't I have it? I need to find a CPU core in order to make one. Okay, well the only way to find one is to salvage. We should always have six of these bad boys. Hmm, yeah, I would like to get a wardrobe somewhere. Right there would be good. out of uh, low space storage. Hmm. Alright, um, what kind of things don't decompose? 48 days, 72 days. Oh, it just needs to be under a roof. Okay, we need to think about this in a different light. Um, I think what we can do, I think as long as it's under a shelter, it will actually be okay. So, we can have three storage. I know it's not optimal, but... Shit, we can even have it outside. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Chris is starving. We need to get more food. Mm, food is becoming an issue. Yeah, I know people are hungry. Contemplating theft. Oh, I spent all the money, Connor, so... Alright, let's set this to only be for construction, raw fabrics, crafting materials. Nothing else. Just the raw storage. Oh, he's stealing. Damn, dude, he's stealing. Still like three grand. And he's eat. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to let him eat that raw grain, though. Hopefully he gets sick. I, I forgot I haven't told him. Kill some more stuff. I think I need to get a freezer up next. I need my food. I need what food that I have to last much longer. Oh shit. 72 aggressive animals. Oh nice, they're being attacked by the hippos. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna need to get a freezer up ASAP, like, uh... Storage would be a good one. Yeah, um, 
Let's do refrigerators and energy storage. Oil extraction. All right, well, we got a big old... What's cool is we're going to get a bunch of oil out of this. All right, we got that. We can just mirror... Crap, it's on, set on times. Tail. Accidentally mirrored the wrong one. I don't even know what the hell that how to do this correctly. Okay, cool. You click on the one that doesn't have shit on it, and then you mirror the other one. Perfect. Aha! CPU cores. Oh, I got a CPU core, which means that I can get an air conditioner up. Alright, air conditioner first. Then empty storage, then refrigerators. And then, um, graphene solar. Solar will be more than adequate for... Anything we need. All right. The fuck is everybody? Oh, God damn it, Jack. Run, Jack. Run! <laughs> Luckily, we're good shots. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. I mean, we just got too many defensive. It's great we got Jack giving him combat bonuses. Wait, oh, did I not have any? What? None of them. How the hell did that happen? Great. All right, butcher them all, my friends. that beautiful bug meat. Get in there. Get in there deep, Edmund. Beautiful meat. Enough to make a lot of fuel and enough to eat. Let's cook some meat soup because people are going crazy hungry. I don't know why he can't cook. Is it glitched out there or something? I'm gonna have Edmund do it. Hell yeah, Li fermented liquid. Oh, limit reached, I see. This is great. Go get me some more meat, my friend. Got food, got fuel.
Almost got a heat pump. Um, I feel like I really need to get the uh, the graphene solar. It just takes one more electronic, but produces 60 versus 20. That's nuts. Um, we're actually going to do that because I need to get that up to get the heat pump going. Then we'll do energy storage. Then we'll do refrigeration. Then we'll do flare shielding. Then we'll do anything else after that, like CPU assemble. I know it's only like two, two or so per, but it all adds up. Oh shit, we got big guys back here. The disease just keeps in coming and wiping out my crops. I'm gonna have to go hydroponic at some point. Expand that just a little bit so they get it going right. We're getting close though. We're gonna have a. I think we'll have AC hopefully before the next uh, the next go. That's gonna be it. The end of chapter one and two. If you followed this long, thank you so much for watching. I plan on continuing this. I feel really good about actually completing insane mode. I do know that the next step after I get the basics is that I need to really go hardcore into brute force and getting my defenses up. I just, like I need to be able to kill anything that comes at me. So thank you again for watching.